Living things are those things that exhibit characteristics like growth, movement, reproduction, response to stimuli and require energy for daily activities, whereas non-living things do not exhibit any such characteristics. Viruses are complicated assemblies of organic molecules, including proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates, but are considered non-living things because they do not exhibit self-maintenance, self-replication, common ancestry, and structural historical continuity. The nucleic acid and proteins of viruses assembles in specific structure called nucleoprotein, or nucleocapsid. Some outer layer of viruses has lipoprotein membrane called envelope, which majorly have been derived from host cell membrane surrounding the nucleocapsid core. The various shapes of virus can be icosahedral, prolate, helical, polyhedral, enveloped viruses extra. The genome of a virus may consist linear or circular of DNA or RNA, which may be single-stranded or double-stranded RNA viruses, comprising 70% of all viruses. The replication of these viruses is complex, only the sense RNA strands are released from the infecting virion to initiate replication. Single-stranded linear DNA, 4 to 6 kilobits in size, is found with the members of the parvovirus family that comprises the parvo, the erythra and the dependoviruses. Circular single-stranded DNA of only 1.7 to 2.3 kilobits is found in members of the circovirus family which comprise the smallest autonomously propagated viruses. For the virus to reproduce and thereby establish infection, it must enter cells of the host organism and use host cells materials. To enter the cells, proteins on the surface of the virus interact with proteins of the cell. The virus particle or its genetic contents are released into the host cell, where replication of the viral genome may commence. Next, the virus takes control of the host cell's replication mechanisms. It is at this stage a distinction between susceptibility and permissibility of a host cell is made. After a virus has made many copies of itself, the progeny may begin to leave the cell by several methods. This is called shedding and is the final stage in the viral life cycle. Some viruses can hide within a cell, which may mean that they evade the host cell defenses or immune system and may increase the long-term success of the virus. The virus remains inactive until external stimuli such as light or stress prompts it to activate. The most common respiratory infections are upper respiratory infections, which include sore throat, sinusitis, and the common cold. Other viral respiratory infections include influenza and pneumonia. In small children, viruses also commonly cause croup. Respiratory infections are more likely to cause severe symptoms in infants, older people, and people with a lung or heart disorder. Gastrointestinal tracts such as gastroenteritis, are commonly caused by noroviruses and rotaviruses. Liver infections result in hepatitis. Some viruses, such as the rabies virus and the West Nile virus, infect the brain, causing encephalitis. Viral infections that affect only the skin sometimes result in warts or other blemishes. Many viruses that affect other parts of the body, such as chickenpox, also cause a rash. Some viruses, such as the Zika virus, the rubella virus, and cytomegalovirus, can infect the placenta and fetus in pregnant women. Viruses' lipid bilayer fusion requires catalysis agents like viral fusion proteins to overcome a high kinetic barrier. Viral membrane fusion proteins have been grouped into four different classes, and each class is identified by characteristic structural conformations. Class I post fusion conformation has a distinct central coiled coil structure composed of signature trimer of alpha helical hairpins. An example of a class I viral fusion protein is the HIV glycoprotein, GP41. Class II protein lacks the central coiled coil structure. Contains a characteristic elongated beta sheet ectodomain structure that refolds to give a trimer of hairpins. Examples of class II viral fusion proteins include the dengue virus E protein, and the West Nile virus E protein. Class III structural conformation is a combination of features from class I and class II viral membrane fusion proteins. An example of a class III viral fusion protein is the rabies virus glycoprotein. G class IV viral fusion proteins are fusion associated small transmembrane, fast proteins. They do not form trimers of hairpins or hairpin structures themselves, and they are the smallest known viral fusion proteins. Fast proteins are coded for by members of the non enveloped Reoviridae family of viruses. 
Viral isolation and a number of methods for detection of viral antigens, nucleic acids, and antibodies serology, are the core repertoire of techniques used for the laboratory diagnosis of viral infections, although these techniques are performed in diverse laboratory sections such as general microbiology, serology, blood bank, clinical chemistry, pathology, or molecular virology. RNA is extracted from virus by destroying the virus. The RNA is then converted to DNA which represents the whole virus genome. The genetic sequence of virus is generated from the DNA. Based on the DNA sequence, short sequences of DNA primers are produced that are specific to genes encoding the virus transmembrane protein and the glycosylated envelope protein, respectively. The primers will in turn be used to generate a cDNA fragment containing both the specific genes. The cDNA fragment is then inserted into a circular piece of DNA called a plasmid. The plasmid carrying the specific genes are grown in large quantities in bacteria and purified by column chromatography. The purified DNA plasmids carrying the specific transmembrane genes make up the investigational vaccine. Coronaviruses are enveloped RNA viruses that infect and cause disease in a broad array of avian and mammal species, including humans. They contain the largest single-stranded, positive-sense RNA genomes currently known, ranging in size from 27 to nearly 32 kilobits in length. Over the past 30 years, several coronavirus cross-species transmission events, as well as changes in virus tropism, have given rise to significant new animal and human diseases that implicate bovine coronavirus, human coronavirus OC43, human coronavirus 229E, canine coronavirus, feline coronavirus, porcine coronavirus, and transmissible gastroenteritis virus. Within the virion, genome single-stranded RNA is encased in a helical nucleocapsid composed of many copies of the nucleocapsid N protein. The lipid bilayer envelope contains three proteins, envelope and membrane, which coordinate virion assembly and release, and the large peplomer S multiple copies of the S glycoprotein decorate the surfaces of COV virions, conferring the virus's characteristic corona shape. Prior to the identification of SARS-CoV, coronavirus disease in humans was reported to result in mild upper respiratory tract illnesses caused by the two known pathogenic human coronaviruses, 229E and OC43, although recent studies have revealed more serious lower respiratory tract illness, including lethal disease in the elderly. Subsequent to the SARS epidemic, other coronaviruses capable of causing disease in humans, HCOVNL63 and HCOVHKU1, were identified from archived nasopharyngeal aspirates. Infections with these viruses are associated with more serious lower respiratory tract infections in infants, children, and adults, including croup, bronchiolitis, and pneumonia, though the true burden of the disease, especially in the very young, is not currently known. Increased awareness of pathogenic human coronaviruses led to an escalation in research regarding their persistence in reservoir hosts, the molecular mechanisms governing their emergence and pathogenesis in the human population, and the factors required for successful vaccine and therapeutic interventions. Coronaviruses are large, enveloped, positive strand RNA viruses that can be divided into four genera, alpha, beta, delta, and gamma, of which alpha and beta coverses are known to infect humans. The differences between these genera likely depends on the presence in the lower respiratory tract of angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 and dipeptidyl peptidase 4, which are the main human receptors of the surface glycoprotein S of MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV which further mechanism deserve more research and investigation. Most notably, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, a lower respiratory tract disease of humans that was first reported in late 2002 in Guangdong Province, China, quickly spread worldwide over a period of four months spanning late 2002 and early 2003 and infected over 8,000 individuals, killing nearly 800 before it was successfully contained by aggressive public health intervention strategies. A coronavirus, SARS-CoV, was identified as the etiological agent of SARS, and assessments determined that the virus crossed to human hosts, most likely in southern China in Guangdong province, from zoonotic reservoirs, including bats, Himalayan palm civets, Paguma larvata, and raccoon dogs, Nycterutes procyanoides, the latter two of which are sold in exotic animal markets. 
The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, tiredness, and dry cough. Some patients may have aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, sore throat or diarrhea. These symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually. Some people become infected but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most people, about 80%, recover from the disease without needing special treatment. Around one out of every six people who gets COVID-19 becomes seriously ill and develops difficulty breathing. Older people, and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems or diabetes, are more likely to develop serious illness. People with fever, cough and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. The case fatality rate for those under age 60 was 1.4%. For those over age 60, the fatality rate jumps to 4.5%. The older the population, the higher the fatality rate. For those 80 and over, COVID-19 appears to have a 13.4% fatality rate. It's believed immune function declines with age, and older people have more of the underlying conditions that also appear to be risk factors for severe COVID-19. Young people also should not feel invulnerable. There have been disturbing reports of young, otherwise healthy people falling seriously ill with COVID-19 and dying. At the present, the drugs for COVID-19 have been intensively developed, but we have not found specific vaccine or antiviral treatment for human and animal coronavirus. Although there are some strategies for COVID-19 therapy such as test the existing broad-spectrum antiviral drugs by using standard assays, which have been used to treat other viral infections, screening chemical library containing many existing compounds or databases, including information about transcription characteristics in different cell lines, and redevelopment of new specific drugs based on the genome and biophysical understanding of individual coronaviruses. Lopinavir can be used as a protease for the proteolysis of viral polyprotein into functional units with target candidate coronavirus main protease and papain-like protease. Remdesivir and ribavirin can be used as an RNA-dependent RNA polymerase for replicating viral genome with target candidate RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Camistat mesylate can be used as a host cell produced protease that primes S protein to facilitate its binding to ACE2 with target candidate transmembrane protease, serine 2. Arbidol can be used as a viral surface protein for binding to host cell receptor ACE2 with target candidate S protein and as a viral receptor protein on the host cells which binds to viral S protein with target candidate ACE211. Human receptors are angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 and dipeptidyl peptidase 4. The predominant mode of action of arbidol is based on its intercalation into membrane lipids leading to the inhibition of membrane fusion between virus particles and plasma membranes, and between virus particles and the membranes of endosomes. Chloroquine increases late endosomal and lysosomal pH, resulting in impaired release of the virus from the endosome or lysosome release of the virus requires a low pH. The virus is therefore unable to release its genetic material into the cell and replicate. COVID-19 timeline based on the figures so far around the new coronavirus outbreak, which causes fever and a cough, ranges from 1.4% outside China, to 3.4% if you include the China figures. On December 31 last year, China alerted the WHO to several cases of unusual pneumonia in Wuhan, a city of 11 million people. The virus was unknown. Several of those infected worked at the city's Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market, which was shut down on January 1. As health experts worked to identify the virus amid growing alarm, the number of infections exceeded 40. On January 7, officials announced they had identified a new virus, according to the WHO. The novel virus was named 2019 NCOV and was identified as belonging to the coronavirus family, which includes SARS and the common cold. On January 11, China announced its first death from the virus, a 61-year-old man who had purchased goods from the seafood market. The WHO reported on January 13 a case in Thailand, the first outside of China, in a woman who had arrived from Wuhan. On January 20, China reported a third death and more than 200 infections, with cases also reported outside Hubei province including in Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen. On February 7, Li Wenlang, a doctor who was among the first to sound the alarm over the coronavirus in China, died, and Hong Kong introduced prison sentences for anyone breaching quarantine rules. 
On February 16, Taiwan reported its first death. In Italy, officials confirmed a third death on February 23, while local authorities brought the Venice Carnival to an early close and suspended sports events. As the number of infections passed 82,000 worldwide on February 27, including more than 2,800 deaths, the U.S. was considering invoking the Defense Production Act which would grant President Donald Trump the power to expand industrial production of key materials or products for national security. On March 20, coronavirus-related deaths surged past 10,000 globally. More cases were reported in Turkey and Pakistan, while Iran registered a total of 14,991 infections and 853 deaths. Meanwhile, as the number of cases worldwide surpassed 600,000, with more than 27,000 deaths on March 27, India and South Africa joined the countries to impose lockdowns. Kenya, Kazakhstan and Honduras reported their first deaths, while Johnson announced he had tested positive. On April 1, UN Chief Antonio Guterres warned the coronavirus pandemic presents the world with its worst crisis since World War II as the global total of confirmed COVID-19 cases reached 1 million and the worldwide death toll topped 50,000.